Hello mates, this is Captain Muhammad Ali. Welcome back to another video about green calculation procedures. In that video, we will see together how we can calculate total transfers healing moment and compare it with allowable healing moment. But there are just a few basic things we need to know since before starting calculation procedure, like which types of cargo is covered by grain good. Let's see the definition of a grain. The term grain includes wheat, maize, corn, oats, grain, barley, rice, bases, seeds, and zero processed forms which may behave in a similar way to grain in its natural state. So this is the definition of a grain cargo. Now let's see what is the hazards which come from this type of cargo. There are many types of hazards associated with grain loading. But there are two main hazards cargo shifting and cargo settles down for. And both of them fix on ship's stability. That's why we have additional stability requirement. We should comply with it at all stages of the voyage. And there are all conditions that must be met. First condition, total transfers healing moment should be less than allowable healing moment. Second condition, the angle of heal due to grain shift shall be not greater than 12 degrees. Third condition, the area under curve Residual stability area to be not less than 0.075 meter radians. Last condition, the initial metacentric height after free surface effect correction not less than 0.3 meter. Let's see how we can calculate total transfers healing moment and compare it with allowable healing moment. To calculate transfers healing moment, we need to get volumetric healing moment value. After getting this value and dividing it on a storage factor in a cubic meter, we will get trans transfers healing moment. And from caves or tables, we can get volumetric healing moment depend on our grain stability booklet for our ship. And from the book which we browsed it together in a previous lecture, we can get the value for field compartment from tables and value for partially field compartment from curves. Vertical center of gravity correction depend on power grain stability booklet. That's mentioned, we don't need to apply any correction or field compartment with inch trimmed and inch not trimmed in case of we use vertical center of gravity at 100% full capacity. And for partially filled compartment, we should multiply transfers in moment read out by 1.12. Example, this example from a grain stability booklet, which we was browsed it together on a previous Sure. This example already solved in the book, so we will compare our results with book results. To confirm that we are meeting the right results. On that example, we have here six compartments with fill and end trimmed, only cargo hole number three, partially filled compartment. 
have 7,377 metric ton carbon. We have here total displacement 81,368 metric ton. Kg here we have 10.57. But this is not corrected Kg. We should correct it during our calculation. That's all what we need from that example to calculate transverse beam moment. To get the value of volumetric helix moment for cargo hold number three, we need to know the volume of the cargo which is inside the cargo hold. Now we know only cargo weight. By cargo weight and storage factor, we will get the volume. Volume will equal, equal cargo weight times storage factor. That means volume will be 8,841 metric cubic. By this value, we move inside the curve and get the value of volumetric meaning. This is volumetric healing moment curve for cargo hold number three. If we look here, we'll find there are four curves. First curve, vertical shifting moment curve. Second curve for volume. Third curve for vertical center of gravity. Last curve for transfer shifting moment. If we come here down side, we'll find three lines. First line for transfer shifting moment and vertical shifting moment. Second line for volume, third line for vertical center of a graph. To get the volumetric healing moment value for this cargo, we know the volume we will go the to the volume line and the value which we get it 8841 metric cube we'll make straight line until we touch the curve for volume for volume after that we'll move parallel until we touch the curve for transfer shifting moment I'm going and moving downward to the line of transfer shifting moment, then we will get the value. If we check here, we will find the value 21,750. Here we must times by 1000. So here, each, each figure you will get, you must multiply it by 1000. So here, 20, 21. About 750, that means 21,750. So now we have the value of volumetric meaning moment for cargo hold number three, and that's what we need here from here. From the graph. here, this is the table for transfer volumetric meaning moment at full compartment with ends trimmed. And from that table, we will get the remaining values for volumetric healing moment for other cargo parts. And that table, as we took four, was in chapter number two in our case stability. Now we will be able to calculate total transfer healing moment. Here we have the value for volumetric healing moment for all cargo holds. And for cargo hold number three, we multiply the value for of vol volumetric healing moment by 1.12. Then here we get transfer healing moment value for all cargo holds by divided volumetric healing moment on storage factor for the cargo. And here we have total transfer healing moment value. Here we can see, we can find total transfers healing moment is obtaining 
by adding H transfers meaning moment of all card bonds and total transfers meaning moment equal 29,059.6. So now we will get it total transfers meaning moment and this is step number one. Last step we have today allowable yield moment value. After getting total transfers yielding moment value, we should now compare it with allowable yielding moment value. In the case of example, we have displacement 81,368 metric ton and corrected kg 10.68 meter. From the table of allowable yielding moment, which was on chapter number four, section number one, in our green stability book, which we browsed in the last lecture, we found displacement 81. 368 and between corrected kg 10.6 and 10.7 will make interpolation to get value for allowable healing moment and we'll find it 51163 that means the total transfer healing moment is less than the allowable healing moment now we have rectified the first condition and we will calculate the rest of the condition in upcoming lessons. Thank you.